So today I would like to learn about how to operate the nanodrop tool uh, so you, then you can quantify your DNA sample and you can check the quantity so then you can compare with the result of PCL later. This is the kind of the product you can see uh, from the thermoscientific brand so um, you can see uh, later the result of the quick assessment of this tool is kind of amazing but uh, and in somehow we still need to to confirm later uh, by using PCR so let's see then how to use it okay now we are using nano drop right yeah the first you choose the DNA mm -hmm. and this time you know uh, normal DNA is double strand right mm -hmm. So we choose DSDNA. And first, uh, we prepare Now we are going to check mm. the quality, right, of our final free PCR sample. So this is our date of our free PCR sample. So 50A buffer, and now we prepare it. How much? No, this time we try with two microliter. Two, only mm. two. Two. Okay. And this is. Oh. We need to clean it up. Yeah, clean up here. Mm-hmm. Using. DDW distilled water. Distilled water. This is um, milk, right? Mm. Mm -hmm. like milk. Yeah, my leg. There is the sensor. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's so sensitive, right? Yes. So we need the the long tip. Yes. Because we only. Uh, it doesn't matter long or short. Oh, oh, oh. But anyway, first we need to calibrate this. Machine using the same solution, you you dissolve the DNA. Okay. So in e this case, T buffer. T buffer. Yes. Yes. So we need. Where is your? So <laughs> I'm sorry. So we calibrate with T buffer. Yeah, and put the drop of T buffer there, here. Yes. And it started suddenly. Put like this and put blank. This is calibrate. Measure oh. the blank. Measure blank, then it's mini calibration. Of. Oh no, it's calib calibrating. Mm. Blank process. And we should repeat this step. How many times? Twice or thrice, three okay, times. Okay, okay. So we need to repeat calibration two or three times. Yep. How much did did you put it there? Oh, zero point two. Yeah. Okay. Then blank. Blank again. again. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. So now this machine say major sample, right? So oh. it say that. They already finished to ca uh, Calibrate. calibrating. Okay, see. Let's see. So this ne. So this ne. And then clean here like this. Mm -hmm. Ah. And to confirm. This machine is very calibrate. Mm -hmm. What are you using now? Still using T PA. again. T again. And measure. Mm -hmm. oh, what should be there? So we expect it's a zero value. Well, almost zero, right? Oh, yes. Yeah. That means minus that 0 0.1. So that means almost. Almost, yes. Zero value, mm -hmm. right? So okay. So that's good to go. Mm. Okay, I think so. And clean it again. Mm. 
and measure your sample. Okay. Now we are going to, to one. take one of yes, this is number one sample. Meter, meter. Only one point zero. Eh, one. I'm sorry, zero point two. And then press it. Okay. So we got the result. Yeah. The result is three point three. For example number one, 3.3 mm. nanogram per microliter. Mm. And The important value is here. Mm -hmm. uh, you know that? This ratio. Yes, the two. normal is uh, between 1.5 to 2, I think? Yeah. Yes. Actually, the 0 0.8 to 2 is oh, the good zero, quality. 0 0.8, okay. Mm. Mm. No, in between, right? I'm um, sorry, not 0 .8. 1.8. Yeah, 1.8. 1.8. So I think this good, right? DNA is good quality. Hmm. Could be, but you see in between 1.82, mm, 2.0. Hopefully yes. Yeah, but yeah. Check the DNA quality. Try by trying the PCR. Hmm. 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 Yeah, anyway, right please. So, you should try. Okay. So, we have to, for the second or for the next one, we need to clean, clean it again, again like, like this. And then put your sample there again. Your <laughs> okay, this is my turn. Okay, we stop. So, this is the result of my exercise today. As you can see, out of eight of my samples that I taste, um, uh, almost all of them uh, has a value between 1.5 till a two of ratio value so kind of all of my sample are good to go for PCR tests so well done